Hello artists, today we're going to talk about color and the color wheel. We're going to start off with our primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. They're the colors that make the other colors. So red and blue, well that equals purple. Purple's a secondary color. Our next secondary color is orange when you mix yellow and red together. And you can guess that yellow and blue, that turns them to green. So red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors. Two primary colors together makes a secondary color. These six colors are the basic colors you will find on a color wheel. Now color wheels help us understand how colors work together. That's called color theory. For today's project, you're gonna need a paper and a pencil, maybe an eraser, and you can use anything like colored pencils, crayons, markers, or, or a little bit of paint if you have them. So we're gonna start by drawing some goofy little birds. We're gonna start off with our primary color birds. They're just little ovals with crazy little wings, some kooky little eyes, spindly little feet, and they're sitting on a telephone wire. Have you ever seen birds sit up on top of a telephone wire? I always wonder how they keep their balance. We're gonna color these birds in our primary colors. So I'm gonna start with red. Make sure I color around that little beak and not over it. <clears throat> then we're gonna do yellow. Oh, I should have given him a different color beak. Oh well, I can go back and change that later. And then our blue bird, that's our final primary color bird. So once we're done with our primary color birds, it's time to make some secondary color birds. I'm gonna make these ones smaller. They're gonna be our little baby birds. And I'm just gonna draw them the same way. Little roly-poly birds with goofy wings and spindly feet and crazy little eyes. Now, we know that red and yellow make orange. So the little bird in between those two birds is gonna be orange. And then yellow and blue, well, that makes green. So the bird in between yellow and blue are gonna, is gonna be green. Now, red and blue, they make purple. So our last little secondary color bird is gonna be purple. Oh, it's a very dark purple. Now you can't see his eyes. I'll fix that later. All right, so you can go back and you can color and add some details and turn this into a nice little family portrait of birds that are looking down on the beautiful scenery. So you don't want to do birds? That's okay. You can turn your color wheel into a little group of mice. I'm going to start with my primary colored mice. In this case, I'm going to use a crayon. And then of course, in between, you put the secondary color mice. In between red and yellow, go orange. Green between blue and yellow. And of course, purple between red and blue. Now, you can also do a whole little school of fish. I'm going to start with my primary fish. I'm using paint here. They're not my favorite paints by any stretch of the imagination, but I've got my primary colors done, and now I'm going to add my secondary colors. I actually mixed my secondary colors, which is something you can do. That's why the purple is kind of dull. But um, it's kind of fun to mix your own colors. Now it's your turn to create. You can use the birds or the fish or the mice. If you can come up with another idea, then go for it. The idea behind this is that you know where the primary and secondary colors go in a color wheel. All right, have fun. I would love to see what you create. 